Hello everyone, this video is about understanding coherence and cohesion. In this video, you will learn the difference between coherence and cohesion. What is cohesion and coherence? Cohesion and coherence aren't too difficult to explain. Cohesion refers to connectivity in a text. Coherence refers to how easy it is to understand the writing. In bahasa, I can explain it. Uh, bahwa cohesion itu adalah uh, bagian connectivity atau gabungan di dalam teks. Gabungan antara kata dengan kata, kalimat dengan kalimat, paragraf satu dengan paragraf yang lainnya Sedang, uh, dan itu menjadi satu kesatuan dalam teks sedangkan coherence adalah bagaimana kita bisa memahami kalimat tersebut atau suatu teks Okay, now take a look at this um, text. My favorite color is blue. Yeah, blue is uh, I give it a bold. Saya kasih kasih cetak tebal di situ ya untuk blue and it refers to the blue. It relaxes me. It is also refers to the blue and the clear sky to the blue. Yeah. Stress um, is an impact of the blue color itself, and this reason is uh, refers to the blue too. Yeah, that has uh, connections each other. My favorite color is blue. I like it because it is calming and relax me. I often go outside in the summer and lie on the grass and look into the clear sky when I am stressed. For this reason, I have to say my favorite color is blue. Yeah, this sentence is both coherent and cohesive, but let's focus on the cohesion first. Uh, connectivity-nya, ko connectivitas-nya, atau uh, yang berhubungan satu sama lain. Kita fokuskan di situ, apakah berhubungan. Yeah, I've highlighted the ways that each sentence is connected to the sentence before. Nah, bisa kita kesimpulkan bahwa teks ini adalah coherent dan kohesif. Uh, secara, log secara logika, kita bisa memahami um, satu kesatuan teks tersebut, kalimat per kalimat, kata per kata, dan... Uh, hubungannya dan secara kohesif juga nyambung secara um, hubungan oke okay. ini ada kasus ya dengan uh, sama the words blue kohesif eh, cohesion with no coherence nah di sini kohesinya nyambung sih antara blue dengan um, the words refers to the blue tapi tidak coherence atau tidak logis nggak nyambung oke okay. now here is a sentence that has cohesion but is not coherent my favorite color is blue blue sports cars go very fast traffic this way is dangerous and can cause many car crashes I had a car accident on once and broke my leg. I was very sad because I had to miss a holiday in Europe because of the injury. Ya, kalau secara kohesi nyambung ya antara blue dan blue, kemudian um, blue sport is a bit very fast. Uh, the very fast with this in this way and the car crashes and the car crashes make car accident and then uh, broke my leg and the leg is a uh, getting injury yeah uh, in cohesion it is connected but not in coherence as you can see there is a plenty of cohesion here the sentences connect clearly together but if you read the paragraph 
it really makes no sense jadi nggak nyambung nggak make sense yeah i start talking about blue and i finish talking about the holiday in europe there's no coherence in the sentence right Okay, what about this one? Coherence with no cohesion. Now let's take a look at the sentence that is coherent but not cohesive. My favorite color is blue. I'm calm and relaxed. Yeah, there's no cohesion, no cohesive devices in this text. I'm calm and relaxed. In the summer, I lie on the grass and look up. Yeah, there is no connection between blue and and the the words in the next sentence. This is more difficult to understand, but basically this lack of cohesion. Jadi cohesionnya itu uh, sangat kurang, tapi makes sense, ya. Yeah. My favorite color is blue. I'm calm and relaxed. Yeah, calm and relaxed because of the blue, kan? Uh, and then in the summer, I lie on the grass and look up. Yeah, the you know that the good text is all good writing is you must put uh, coherence. You attach the cohesion, the cohesive devices there, and to make it coherent. Uh, basically, uh, this lack of cohesion means a lack of sufficient connectors to join the ideas together. Yeah, tidak ada connectornya yang merefer ke kata blue itu sendiri. Okay, now we go to this one. Cohesion and coherence in conversation. Two students are asked to talk about some pictures, but if they do not respond to what each other is saying and make no attempt to reference each other, then the conversation can be coherent, but can completely lack cohesion. Okay, for example, I think these people are having a good time. It appears these people are enjoying themselves. You can see there. Um, having good time and enjoying themselves is synonym, right? It is synonymous. They seem to be on holiday. It looks like they are on vacation. It is kind. It is kind of a response that uh, be conducted. That be conduct here. I mean, you know that vacation and holidays synonymous. Obviously, there is no connection between A and B. Yeah, even though it is like connect, connected each other. But, you know, B is like, um, repeat what is uh, what A is saying. We understand them and they are coherent. Yeah, we know that it's coherent. Can be can uh, it is makes it makes sense, but and cannot and it is accepted and what is missing is cohesion they are not connected a is not listening to b and b is not listening to a yeah because uh, in this case b make repetition on the other hand um, take a look at this example it shows that there is cohesion, but the conversation conversation makes no sense, and therefore it is missing coherence. Jadi nggak nyambung, nggak bisa diterima. Uh, tapi cohesion pada timenya, coba kita lihat ya. I think these people are having good time, and time, you know, um, the point is. B take the point of time. Time is difficult to manage. I'm always late for my social appointments like when I have a date with a girl. You know, there's no connect. Uh there's no connection. It does not connect each other. And I like girls with long dark hair and brown eyes. My dog has brown eyes. Ya, di situ ada kata uh, koneksi pada katanya ya, uh, yaitu pada brown eyes. 
tapi tidak nyambung uh, secara logis it does mix it does not make sense okay now we go to quiz what is cohesion yeah cohesion is the way in which an author uses sentence structure to make the ne- the text more understandable to the reader this includes the way the sentences relate to each other and what is coherence coherence is uh, coherence introduces new ideas in text that have never been discussed or introduced um to make you easier to understand coherence is an ideas yeah if when you read the text and you got the ideas that's coherence which is an example of coherence sentences which flow together and make sense when side by side the point is make sense what is a good way to create bulleted framework for your paper yeah outline by outline uh, you know it makes you easier to write to make a text into writing and also in speaking okay, number five what do you want to write in your conclusion Summarize what the paper will be about as a whole, without giving everything away. And what does it mean to look forward and back in your paper? It means to make sure to look back at your previous paragraph and your future paragraph idea to tie them all together properly. And unity and coherence is related. Unity is defined as the state of being in the undivided of being one. Coherence is defined as internal consistency or a logical arrangement of parts. So unity means hangs together. When the relationship between ideas is clear, there is coherence. When attempting to persuade it is necessary to use what type of order? It means you order of it is an order of importance. And what are ways to show connection? It's direct references and transitional expressions. Change over time is an example of chronological order. What are the major qualities of well written paragraph? It's elaboration, unity, coherence. Yeah, all of the above. All supporting sentences work together to support what this is statement. To compare and contrast ideas show cause and effect, time and importance are all examples of transitional expression. Okay, that's all. Um, the coherence and understanding coherence and cohesion. I wish it's. I hope. Uh, you get the beneficial of these understandings the advantage is by learning coherence and cohesion you can write properly and also speak speak logically thanks for watching Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh